Whoa, did you see that introduction? That's exactly what I got to say about Deep Resolve Boost. I'm very happy to be here once again with the help of Siemens Heffernails. I was able to get my hands on a Deep Resolve Boost. Today, we're going to unbox it. I'm going to share some images with you guys. If you haven't seen the previous video regarding Deep Resolve, I will leave the link up in here. Do not push that link now. Wait till you finish this video. And remember to stick around till the far end of this video. I'm going to share some of my thoughts regarding Deep Resolve Boost. And I have an important message regarding this approach. For those who don't know me, I'm back again. I'm an MRI radiographer. What is Deep Resolve? Very short said, Deep Resolve is a IA image reconstruction technology. It's the big family name. It was first released at RCNA 2020. By that, it was sharp and gain, but currently it's the boost. Boost takes this to the next level. Enough talking for me. Let's go to the scanner and I will show some images. All right, we are currently at 3T magnetome Vida. I'm just doing a routine knee here. So as you can see here, uh, the matrix size is extremely high, it's interpolated, but nevertheless, look at the scan time. So here I combine Deep Resolve Boost, Deep Resolve Sharp with the Grappa and the PD weighted. So over here, it's the same. It's a T1 weighted, it's very short scan time. It's not difficult to get images like this, but it's very difficult to get images like this with a short scan time. Let's go to the next test. This is the next test. I will try to optimize the sequences going from the old to the new, newer and newest. What do I mean by that? We are going from Grappa to SMS, which was released a few years ago. And then the first version of Deep Resolve with this new approach. And this is the latest, the boost. So look at the image quality right here. The image quality looks the same. The parameters is almost the same. Nevertheless, what is important here is that if you look at the scan time from conventional old school, it takes around 3 minutes and 45. But you put on the boost, it goes down to 1 minute and 10. So you save around 70% of scan time with just this sequence. So this is impressive. And my next test here was, I was wanted to see if I were able to get to fast scans. Can I put four sequences routinely within two minutes? You can say here, I'm pushing the SMS very high. I'm combining this with SMS. So I have a high resolution. I combine it with SMS to put the scan time lower. And you can see here the image quality is not that bad. And imagine if you have a pediatric case which doesn't want to lie in the scan scanner, this is exactly what you need. Speed at the same time. Good image quality. Let's move over to our shoulder. This shoulder was done on a 3T magnetome Lumina. So you can see the images here. Everything takes around on a minute or so. Nevertheless, it's high resolution images. It's very noisy, right? You can see it's noisy. But then let's apply the Deep Resolve Boost on. You see there, Deep Resolve Boost is on now. And then you remove the noise and the clarity of the images comes forward. It's very impressive. And all the five sequences right here takes only approximately four minutes. But localizer is not included here, but it takes around five or 10 seconds more. Four minutes, can you imagine that? That's brutal. And I also wanted to test a little bit higher resolution when it comes to a shoulder imaging. So we have a higher resolution here, thinner slices, and the scan time is of course a little bit longer. And this is without the Deep Resolve Boost. So let's apply the Deep Resolve Boost on. You can see, the clarity of the images comes forward. We have less noise and it's very good. So the total scan time of 5D sequence takes around 9 minutes. Can you imagine? High resolution shoulder images, 9 minutes. Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video interesting. Deep Resolve Boost, I'm speechless. I don't have any words for that because it's brutal. Nevertheless, in my introduction, I have the word powerful. It's a very powerful approach. I had speed. You can do this very fast. High image quality, you can get very good image quality, of course, and easy to adapt, it's easy to use, and the last thing is flexible. It's flexible, you can use this on every organ, every coil, whatever you want. So my important message for you is that remember the golden triangle, you have resolution, scan time, and as an R. So whenever you have high resolution, you also have to go up with the scan time, right, to compensate for the as an R lost. But with the deep resolve boost, you don't need to think about that because the deep resolve boost will take care of the as an R for you to a certain amount, of course, and then you have a higher matrix for a better resolution, the scan time goes up. So you need a fast approach. You need you need approach to get the scan time down. So by that you have SMS, you have power imaging, and so on. So this is important. It's very easy to have a high resolution, but it's very difficult to get the scan time low. Remember that. Do you want me to make more of this kind of video? Please let me know in the comment section down below. So, I see you in my next video. Take care. Peace out.